Okay. All right. Is this working now? <laughs> it's hard to know. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another English class here. I think it's not working for a minute, but I think it's working now. So if you have a reservation for this class and you want to join, uh, you can do that now. Um, if you don't have a reservation, you can just wait a minute and then you'll see the join class button up there and then you can join the class. We're going to be uh, just speaking English today. We have a bunch of questions here on this uh, document that I put up in the Verbling chat box there and we're going to be working through uh, those questions. So uh, if you want to practice your English, you can go ahead and join the class now. I'm going to check and make sure that it's working because it was kind of uh, wasn't working, but yep, I think it's here, so you should be able to see it now on the regular uh, Verbling page, so people can join now. Uh, okay, hold on. Sorry for the couple of minute delay there. Something was happening with my browser. It wasn't uh, quite working, so um, if you are a member of Verbling, Dot com, then you can join now. If you're not a, a Verbling member yet, but you want to take classes and participate, then you just need to join Verbling. There are a couple of things that you can do. You can um, go to the Verbling website and you can do a seven day trial first if you're not sure whether or not you're going to use it very much. Uh, if you can also buy um, 10, like a 10 pack. So you can take 10 classes, um, and I think that's $19. So it's less than $2 per class, so less than $2 an hour. That's a pretty good rate. Or if you're um, wanting to participate and join the classes, then you can buy uh, buying a membership for $45, and that's for the whole month, and that allows you to take as many classes as you would like so you can take classes pretty much all day every day we have teachers teaching classes every hour sometimes we have one two or three classes going at the same time and so uh, you get a lot of choice so in this hour for example we have a speaking class so uh, we had some reservations uh, if you're a verbling member you can make a reservation but you don't always need one it's a good idea if you think you're going to show up and you want to make sure that there's room in the classroom because sometimes we do have uh, full classes but you don't have to make a reservation uh, actually, you can just come to the Verbling website, and when you see um, the classes, you can just click on the class, and it opens up, and then join the class so that you can come into here. Hi, Yuki. Oh, why they are no student? I I don't know. You know, I was opening up the uh, Google Hangouts here, and it 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 closed on me a couple of times. <laughs> so. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe, maybe uh, uh, there's some trouble with you know. the Google Hangouts and the Verbling uh, application or something. I don't know. So it's okay if it's just me and you. Hi, Culinary you. shock <laughs> continues. Culinary shock continues. <laughs> well, you know, in in the last class, I think I'm uh, hungry. You're hungry. Yeah. What time is it there? Uh, I. Yes, it, it it's just a uh, time of uh, time of evening. Uh, it's uh, dinner, uh, nine o'clock. It it's a seven seven minutes past nine. Right. Uh, in the evening here. Is that when you usually eat dinner? Yes, uh, in this time. Yes, today ah. I, I a little late, but maybe after uh -huh. the after the class I will have a dinner. Something to eat. Okay. Well, I didn't realize that. Uh, hi, Andre. How are you? Hello, Lisa. I'm fine. And you? Good. Andre, uh, Yuki was just telling me that he eats dinner around 9 o'clock. Is that when you eat dinner, too? Um, yeah, usually about uh, maybe 8, 9, nine o'clock. Oh, okay. Andre, I didn't know that. Have you tasted before black caviar? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a theme of a previous class. Yeah, in the last class we were talking about some of the most expensive foods uh, in the world. And of course, caviar 
black caviar was really expensive. Yeah. When do you eat caviar in Russia? Because here it's more like a, a holiday thing, like a it's holiday a very, celebration. It's a special occasion. Uh, yeah. Maybe there, uh, when we have, when they have a party, maybe wedding uh -huh. party. Yeah. Mm, even in wedding party. Doing that when you had black it's caviar. Rare. It's rare to serve special black occasion, caviar. maybe a wedding or something, or maybe. But I think only very rich person, rich people. Yeah. Can, can have a caviar now. Oh. Actually, actually, I don't remember the last time when I tried yeah. it. So, uh, <laughs> I usually I usually eat uh, red caviar on uh, on. Uh, yes, some red caviar is not so expensive as. Yeah, not expensive. Mm. Red caviar. Uh, how do you eat that? Like uh, usually with out. bread, 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 butter, and the caviar. It's kind of oh, okay. uh, butter and bread. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I've had it like that too. That's good, but that's not from salmon, right? The red is it? It's from lumpfish or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, the, I think there are many types of uh, many types. Of okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Hi, Michael. Are you in? Hey, Lisa. Doing? How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? Doing great. <laughs> Is there a problem with the hangouts? Because I received like messages that uh, some problems. Yes, I think there might be some happening because when I tried to start the class, it took a long time for um, it wouldn't start, and then I had to refresh my page, and then it kicked me out, and then I refreshed again, and yeah. So I don't know what it is, but apparently uh, some people are having trouble with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I think it's okay now. So. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking that uh, that is on my side a problem. Some. No, I think it must be something related to Google Hangouts. Maybe sometimes it's Google Hangouts uh, working with the Verbling application for the chat, for example. But mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I don't. Work. What? Google company working is working hard. To <laughs> They're working hard. For, uh, for us, like the best service, I believe. That's why, like. Yeah, I think they're working hard, but uh, it's a lot to do. A lot of people accessing Google <laughs> Hangouts, <laughs> a lot. Okay, guys, well, welcome to the class. We're going to be just talking in this class and giving you guys time to do that so you can uh, practice using words you've been learning and expressions and just talk about a lot of different things. So let's just get started, and if some other people join us, that's okay. Uh, of course, here on Verbling, you can join at any time, and it doesn't matter if you join, in, you know, after 20 minutes or something. It's totally okay. All right. So the first question is, what is one thing that you'd like to change about your personality, and why? Why would you like to change that? So, Andre, why don't we start with you? Can you think of something that you'd like to change? Um. Yes, I guess. Uh... The one thing that I like to change is to be uh, more proactive in life. Mm -hmm. uh, if um, because uh, sometimes I uh, uh, miss opportunities, some opportunities, and um, for example, in this moment uh, in in life, we have sometimes sometimes we have uh, great opportunities to do something, and uh, I try to. Think about it, and I miss uh, miss it uh, very often. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you've noticed that that's happened to you. Yeah. yeah. Couple so times. So I I like to be more uh, kind of maybe it's it's uh, I don't want to uh, just act without thinking, but uh, to be more um, robust. Mm -hmm. Robust. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, robust or maybe um, well in the. One of our other classes, I think this week, we talked about whether or not people were risk takers or not. So maybe you're, yeah. you you want to be a little bit more uh, open to, to trying new things or taking some risks mm -hmm. or, yeah, taking advantage of some opportunities you have. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Michael, what about you? Anything you'd like to change? Well, um, not really, but I think uh, that I'm... Uh, a little bit indecisive. So basically, I uh, I can uh, think about something 
<laughs> some time, like I cannot decide, for example, if I go to buy uh, a thing. It could be an expensive thing, uh, but I could check all the options. Uh, what I mean that uh, all the com competitors, yeah? Right, yeah, all the different um, options what? that you have. Yeah, yeah options. Mm -hmm. And after that, I make I uh, make my decision. Yeah, and um, that takes some time. And uh, I don't know. I would, but I can I can um, skip that um, thing to to check competition. So basically, yeah, I'm indecisive a little bit. I uh, I can like. Uh, think about something and I kind of decide like should I do that, should I do this yeah. and sometimes uh, there is like a person could help me like you should do that, do that and I do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, when you make, when you finally make a decision are you happy with your decision or do you sometimes think oh I should have got that other thing? Mm -hmm. anyway. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm happy, definitely happy with it. Oh, okay. It's uh, it's about like uh, reasoning. Like I'm I'm thinking too much about uh, um, what could bring me that opportunity or that opportunity. So I can because of that I can. But when I make my decision, I think um, I, I don't have like any regrets because I uh, I really analyzed that. So basically, I um, made my decision on some. Uh, on, uh, based on something, so yeah. basically it's not a decision just uh, without thinking, but uh, so it couldn't be a bad decision, it's the yeah. best decision that I, uh, I've made like at uh, some point in my life. So. Uh -huh. so maybe just maybe make the decision a little bit uh, quicker. <laughs> yep, yep, not, uh, not thinking too, too much. O about. Overthinking something, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we call that uh, like when you're we say weighing all your options. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and so sometimes that can take a long time, and you get confused, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting confused. I, yeah. I forget uh, where, where I started and uh, where I'm now, and uh, what what do I want from that decision? That's the the point that I. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Yuki? Have anything you'd like to change? Um, I, I'm I'm a very I'm very. I'm not good at to co uh, deal with my stress. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's problem. I'm. I don't feel quite at ease among strangers. Mm -hmm. um, um, I'm always feel um, feel nervous, uh, especially when I join the class, mm. bubbling class. Yeah. My mind went blank sometimes. Mm. Sometimes, because yeah. of the extreme, extreme nervousness, mm -hmm. I I can hardly find the, the words to tell in English because of nervous, mm -hmm. my na because of ne nerves. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's a nervous, challenging yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh, people say that I'm quite relaxing every every time, but it is not true. <laughs> 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 I'm very weak and nervous always. That's that's what I want to change. To be less less nervous. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you don't seem too nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> no, because you know, uh, usually a person who's more nervous won't even speak up. You know, but in class you don't seem to be afraid to talk. So. Yeah, really. Really? That's, yeah. It's not true. It's <laughs> my I'm, experience. <laughs> I'm always struggling from my nervousness. What well, I actually I was just uh, reading about that, and uh, there is a an actor named Henry Fonda, and apparently he always threw up before he went out on stage. But he knew he was nervous, and he knew it was really, you know, he was very nervous, but he knew that once he got out there, he would be okay. But before he got out on stage, he would always vomit. <laughs> he would have to go to the bathroom. He was so nervous, he would throw up. Yeah. How, how he feels, yes. Yeah. Often, often nervousness uh, make me feel, feel vomit. 
Uh-huh. Nauseous. So, <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, I'll go to toilet. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, here's kind of a, a simpler question. Andre, what's your favorite month of the year and why? Uh, favorite month? Um, maybe it's uh, May. I guess it's not uh, it's not a cold, yeah. not cold weather, but it's um, mm, starting to be it's war- warm months. I can say in Russia, so uh-huh. yes. I think I like it the most. Is is May a time where um, when is the time that people in Russia usually take a vacation? Is there a certain month? Uh, take a vacation. I, I guess yeah. uh, <laughs> people in Russia take a vacation all all the year. <laughs> <Can take> <laughs> Uh, but I usually, of course, it's a summer t- it's a summertime, and okay. it's from June, maybe May, from May to August or September. September, mm-hmm. maybe. Does it um does it rain much in May? In May, um, it depends. Maybe sometimes it is raining, but mm-hmm. um, usually, for example, uh, on maybe. Uh, First uh, days of May, it, it is um, it is a uh, warm weather, and we have uh, um, some uh, holidays there. So mm-hmm. good time to spend with family, and maybe it's, that's why uh, it is a favorite month for me. Yeah, yeah. We have a saying in English: um, "April showers bring May flowers." So. May is also a really good month in a lot of places in the United States, so it's, it's yeah. a nice, not too, not cold, not too hot, sunny, but not you know to, too hot. It's pleasant. The flowers are blooming, that kind of thing. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's pretty. Um, Michael, what about you? Well, well I like um, all the months of the year. <laughs> yeah. But my favorite one could be summertime because it's warm and it's sunny and uh, you enjoy the sun. If you don't want to enjoy the sun, you just go in the shadow. In shadow, yeah. Mm-hmm. In the shade. Go in the in shade. shade. Oh yeah, yeah. Shadow is uh, another thing. So in shade, you go in shade, and uh, it's warm. And when it's warm, it's. Um, uh, I like that feeling mm. because, uh, yeah, some people say, say that um, it's too warm, for example, in summertime, and mm-hmm. you get, um, what do you get? You get hot, you get sunburn, yeah. you get... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you get tired. I, yeah, I bought some uh, clothes, like uh, they are kind of uh, good clothes, summer clothes, and uh-huh. uh, they are with good ventilation system, mm. so... Kind mm-hmm. of uh, sport clothes like Nike, like these kind of things. Yeah, sure. So, Michael, you said you're in Chicago right now. Yeah. How long have you been in Chicago? All my life. All your life. Yep. And is it really hot in Chicago in the summer? Nope. Oh, awesome. not hot. Probably isn't Chicago really tough like in the winter, like uh, January, February, something like that. No, it's no. Just so, yep. snow and windy. Isn't Chicago pretty windy? Yep. Windy city. It's not <laughs> windy uh, like, city. very cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I've only been there once, but I didn't get to see too much because I was in the hotel for a workshop there. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> Chicago. All right. Uh, Victor, hi, Victor. Hi. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, good as well. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're on number two. What is your favorite month of the year and why? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, um, I like uh, all months in the year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, I don't... Uh, High five, Victor. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Michael. High five. Victor. High five. High five. <laughs> high five. Yeah, high five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. all the months. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't uh, separate uh, year on uh, um, on s- seasons. 
Uh -huh. I like all seasons. Uh, yeah. For me, it doesn't matter which season right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just uh, change my clothes <laughs> in summer. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, few uh, clothes in, in winter. Uh, I put on more. Uh, I actually I don't like. Um, not don't like. I I. It doesn't matter for me uh, a event like New Year celebration and uh, my birthday. J time just going. And it doesn't yeah. matter what seasons right now and what months. You're, Ma you're but, adaptable. Maybe, yes. you're, yeah. Maybe I more prefer uh, warm months. Uh huh. Summer, June, uh, August, January. Mm hmm. Oh yes, <laughs> so maybe I well, How how much snow do you get where you live in the Ukraine? Do you get much snow in the winter? Uh, sometimes there are uh, 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 much snow. Sometimes not. Last year it, it were a lot of snow. It was a lot of snow, but. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Year before last winter, it was uh, winter uh, almost without snow. Mm. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm wow. Okay. So it's changing, but so it's not too extreme. The the cold where you live. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Yuki. What about you? <laughs> What's your favorite month? Maybe you have a different. Uh, favorite month depending on yeah, where you're living. It's a season. It's a season. My favorite season. Uh, before, I I loved the the ocean. Uh, uh, ocean. Sorry. <laughs> Fall. <laughs> it's Russian. Autumn. Uh, so October is my favorite season because we can eat a lot of delicious food in Japan. Yeah. Including matake mushroom. It is. Uh, uh, Autumn is a season of mushroom, and, and they are very. Um, they are very. You can you can taste very uh, a lot of uh, tasty foods. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a culinary paradise. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we know you're hungry now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, also, uh, then. Uh, Color of uh, leaves. Uh, the leaves turn in autumn. Yeah. Uh, it turns into uh, red or yellow. It's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, of, uh, uh, especially uh, color of maple is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. You can you can uh, in autumn you can go to uh, uh, hot spring hot spring spot there and taking a bath. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you can enjoy the color of beautiful color of autumn color of leaves. It's a very gorgeous and fabulous. Yeah. But, but now I don't like very much autumn mm. here in Russia. Uh, many people think uh, Japanese think autumn is uh, one of the best season, but I think many Russians don't think so. Mm. Uh, um, because o autumn, uh, they they feel autumn is a they think autumn is a sad season. It's the end of summer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, it makes them uh, depressed. So uh, famous Russian poet. Alexander Pushkin yeah. uh, 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 right uh, in, in English uh, it, it's a sad season mm -hmm. uh, it, it makes me sad uh, but I um, but I feel present uh, you are uh, beautiful. Uh, you are, mm, you are welf welf welfare beauty. Mm. So, so autumn is a uh, uh, end of summer, yeah. good season, and it makes make them 
a little sad. What about you? Does it make you sad? Yes, I also now feel sad. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes, in reality, it's cold now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's already uh, uh, temperature un below zero. Mm. So, so I wow. don't like it now yeah. this season. <laughs> You can. <laughs> I like. Please comment. <laughs> I like uh, how you mixed <laughs> Russian and English. Ah. <laughs> Citing Russian Russian poetry for us. <laughs> She's my favorite writer, nice. poet. Yes. Yeah. No, I can. It's difficult to uh, translate into English. It is uh, mm. another sense. There, there is some. As okay, have you read Leo Tolstoy? <laughs> uh, Tolstoy, I rarely read, but I, I have, I have read uh, some of his very great <laughs> novels. Yeah, but it, it's very long and it, it's very tired. <laughs> That's why I ask you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Do you like Tolstoy? Uh, like no, 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 I guess no. not. <laughs> I prefer to read. Uh, I prefer to read uh, Chekhov than Tolstoy. Yeah. Chekhov. Mm. Chekhov. Mm. Yeah. It's short and short. It's pretty short and uh, it's pretty. <laughs> okay. A little sad, but we say short and sweet. Oh, we lost sweet. Ken. Sweet. Yeah, sweet. It is that. Maybe uh, Ken might come back. I don't know if he's having trouble with the Google Hangouts. There he comes back. <laughs> Hi, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, are you there? Might be loading, so it's okay. All right, so why don't we go to number three? And Ken, when you're when you yes, can no. speak, oh good, yay, hi. Yeah, <laughs> now it's uh, very slow to uh, upload the uh, Google. Yeah, uh, it's uh, kind of slow uh, today. I yeah, the computer. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can uh, join the class now. Okay, cool. What's your favorite month of the year? Do you have one? Or a favorite time? Uh, yes, I, yes, I like May and October. Mm. It, uh, it was the best season here. Yeah? Air is dry, clear sky. Uh -huh. And yeah, I, lo I love that, these seasons, yeah. this month. Yeah. So have you had a good month this month then? October? Uh, yes, uh, this October, you are uh, sunny, yeah, relatively sunny. Some typhoon came, but uh, uh, not direct hit to this area, so mm. uh, no, no damage here, and a lot, a lot of clear, comfortable uh, day. And temperature is just comfortable, not so low and not so high. Is it raining at all? Has it been uh, raining? It, it, when the typhoon approaching, it, it, it was rainy, but mm. uh, except that uh, usually uh, kind of clear or sunny weather. Oh, oh, in October here. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm okay, nice. Any? It, what's the weather now going to be like? Is it going to get uh, wetter or what? Uh, what happens probably, next in November? This weekend is gonna be uh, rainy. Oh, okay. It's, it, it's a consecutive holiday. Uh, two, three consecutive holidays. But oh, really? Rainy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my uh, base, uh, you know, the kind of. Uh, like America, uh, kind of Japanese series of baseball is, is was taking oh, place. Oh, okay. And my city's franchise team won. Oh, wow. Nice. So I was watching television. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. yeah, I wasn't watching the World Series, but uh, you know, I'm from I'm originally from California, so all my family and stuff they were all watching. <laughs> Yeah. The, and rooting for the Giants, and the Giants won yeah. last night, so they're very happy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Giants won, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and my, my team, of course, Hopes won tonight. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Cool, and that's the World Series? like. Uh, yeah, like World Series in, in Japan, yeah. It's called Japan Series. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> that makes more sense. 
the Americans, they think they're the best, so they have the World Series, but it's just Americans, so <laughs> it's kind of weird. All right. Okay, let's go to number three. Some people like to talk about things, and some people like to do things. We call those people the get-her-done kind of people. Uh, they say that, let's get things done, let's get her done. What kind of person are you, uh, Andre? What do you think? Um, I I am the person who think things. <laughs> think about things. <laughs> uh, speaking seriously, I guess um, I'm uh, not that extreme that I'm talking about always talking about it and not uh, the person who always uh, do that I think that I need to do. Maybe uh -huh. I am uh, some somewhere in the middle. Okay. So maybe. Maybe I want to be more uh, of the person who more doing things than talking about it. Uh huh. <laughs> when you were growing up, uh, like in your with your parents, did where, did you have one parent who was more the person who got things done, and one who was more like talking about it, thinking about it, or I don't know. Uh, no. No. It's hard to say because you know. Um, I think uh, they are both um, kind of in the middle as well. <laughs> Maybe oh, okay. uh, I grew up uh, <laughs> like that as because of that because of my uh, how do you call uh, ra they raised me like that or I'm not they sure. raised you like that? Uh huh. Yeah. 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 It's just interesting to see how people, uh, you know. We say turn out. So you you grow up and you live with your parents, and they have their personalities. And then sometimes you're like them, and sometimes you're like not like them at all. So yeah, sometimes in a relationship, somebody's got to do something. So <laughs> so sometimes people get, one takes kind of charge, I guess. But yeah. yeah. Okay. What about you, Michael? What what do you think you're like? T more of a talker or more of a get things done person? To, uh, talk to talk with who? Like, you like to talk about it with somebody, like, instead of actually uh, maybe fixing something at home, you just keep talking about it, like, oh, yeah, i got to fix that thing. I think I'm going to go to the store and buy this, and, and you plan it, and you think about it, and then another person is like, come on, let's just go. Let's do it. <laughs> you know? Okay. No, I think uh, if I see that something should be done, I do that without uh, much talking about that, so... Uh -huh. I just do that. Um, okay, I dis I'm discussing with someone. Maybe if I don't know how to do that, I'm asking questions. I, I love to ask questions. That's my part of personality. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I, I like to ask why and double uh, H questions if I don't understand something. And uh, some people are irritated with that, like they don't like. And um, when I do, I just do. I don't uh, talk about. Uh, uh -huh. So when I know what should I do, how should yeah. I do, and uh, in what way will turn out, and things like that, I just do it. I'm not talking. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Because there's some some people like to, like I was giving the example, talk a lot about it. So for example, if you own a house, and uh, you know maybe you really want to do something like paint the room, and every time you go into the room, you're like, oh, I really need to paint this room. And you think about it, and you tell people about it, but you actually, you know, years and years go by, and you don't do it. <laughs> and another person just says, I want to paint this room, and they go, and they buy the paint, and they paint the room. So that's kind of like a difference, yeah. But the thing is, I think that uh, people who are talking about something and they don't do that thing, they are not really interested in that thing, I think. Probably not, it's just, yeah. <laughs> a, it's just a way to, I don't know, it's just a, a part of their personality. Uh -huh. uh, just, to, just to say, like, I should do that. For example, uh, I should find a better job, you can say, over sure. and over. But yeah. actually, you don't send your CV somewhere or you don't prepare your CV. Right. Exactly. Or I want to learn English, but how? But you don't learn actually English. <laughs> you don't do anything, right? <laughs> yeah, you're, just, you're just saying, I want to learn English, uh, I want to learn English. So basically, you need motivation. If you have the motivation to do something, I mean, if you really want to do, you do just do it. But if you don't want, you just that's kind of excuses. 
Uh huh. Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Okay, uh, Yuki. What do you? How do you see yourself? Uh, my wife always uh, complains <laughs> of my of what I'm doing every every day. Every day. Wow. Yeah. He 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 often said she often said that I'm doing all the talking, but nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> For example, I I often say we have to we have to clean clean the clean the house clean yeah. our house uh, maybe fix a uh, shelf <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, um, um, yes repair uh, repair the something <laughs> but uh, but nothing have realized yeah. So. So uh, I I I want to I want to change my such a bad 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 habit. Mm. Uh, yesterday I I read an article uh, uh, titled "Don't Procrastinate." Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. there is a tips. Uh, <laughs> tips for how to yeah to get to work. Your, uh, <laughs> to in order to change your attitude to action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Towards the action, but I think uh, I think I can't I can't change my bad habit. It is written <laughs> that you maybe you have have to write down what you want to down uh, in the in the in, in the in the in the notes, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you, you maybe you you should you should note what you want to do ah. and make a list and yeah. and on the on the end of the day you. You 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 should read the list and check what what point you realize what didn't and mm. such a very useful suggestion. Yeah. But I think I can't do it because I'm too lazy to to do this. So I'm desperate maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it comes down like what Michael was saying is how much do you really want to do. Something you know, what's your motivation, and how important is it to you? But there are things that can help you get uh, out I of have your a procrastination. I have plenty of motivation, but the only problem is I can't. I, 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 I always I procrastinate. Yeah. <laughs> doing it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, but maybe you'd rather take a verbling class than go fix something. <laughs> Uh, maybe I, I hope so. Your class make me, maybe makes me change. Okay, we'll see. You have to get your wife on here. Does your wife speak English at all? Uh, a little, but a little. but she she prefers to speak Russian. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Okay. All right, Ken. What about you? How do you see uh, yourself? Ah, mm, uh, basically, I'm a shy guy. Yeah. And I started to talk in uh, on the internet, uh, mainly for uh, for speaking in, in English. Because yeah. in my daily life, you know, I I don't need to speak English so much. Sure. So that's why I come I came uh, to the internet to speak mm -hmm. up in English. Mm -hmm. But I realized maybe this this type of activity is also helpful to to overcome my shyness. Mm -hmm. Actually, I. Uh, uh, the first online class, uh, maybe a long time ago actually, <laughs> but yeah. uh, uh, in that class, I couldn't talk uh, so much, very little I could talk. So teacher says, I expect you in, in next class, I uh, expect you to talk more, because I was too nervous to talk on public at that time. So, you know, I think it's uh, basically I'm shy. Yeah. And, and yeah, I, it, I love. Uh, 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 go ahead. Well, just but in terms of the question, do you think you get things done, or are you more like you talk about things? That's what I meant. Uh, I love pre 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 procrastination. Oh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You love it. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's what you're saying is the internet has provided you with a means to to uh, help you with your shyness but also something else to do like instead of you know but that's doing something as well you know like you are 
proactive in talking and practicing your English and getting getting uh, that done because even like what Michael was saying some people say oh I want to learn how to speak English I want to speak English better but then they don't do anything about it they just talk mm -hmm. about wanting to do it you know right. you guys are actually doing it yeah yeah, uh, I don't know why, but uh, in terms of learning English, I have a strong mm -hmm. motivation. Yeah, mm. I don't know yeah. about that. Anyway. Yeah, okay. I think it's uh, it goes from the um, childhood because I remember myself in uh, university when I procrastinated uh, uh, doing my term paper and <laughs> or preparing for my exams. Yeah. And, uh, I prepared the day before the actual exam or when I have to um, uh, do my term paper so it's kind of uh, common common things in, in uh, or that students have mm -hmm. yeah okay what's well, um, I came I wrote this one down because I saw a thing on the internet that people were talking about how humans could colonize Mars and I don't know if you guys know but last I think it was last year they they sent they landed on Mars something uh, landed on Mars and they were uh, watch you could watch it on the screen and so I saw this actually it was this article here I'll give you the link um, talking about how we could colonize Mars. So colonize means like have humans go and live there and they're talking about how you know we have to get there first and then we have to figure out how to become self-sufficient while we're there build some buildings and things like this um, how to grow you know what would we eat have a government <laughs> up there and then expand out so that was like um, well, what about the moon? Uh, why would we not start with the moon to colonize the moon? I don't. I don't have any idea. But I mean, <laughs> really, really near us, like uh, if we compare with Mars, and yeah. um, also um, as far as I know, uh, the um, so Americans they landed on the moon once. Uh huh. Uh huh. So basically, it's. Uh, Easy as I said to colonize that. Yeah, I have no idea. So maybe, may, for some reason, maybe they think that there's something available on Mars that's not possible on the Moon. I don't. I have no idea really. But what what do you guys think about this idea in general? Like going to another planet and trying to live there. So Andre, what do you think? Is it worth it to try to do this kind of thing, or is it just silly nonsense? Um, it's a good question. And uh, <laughs> for example, if we'll have, if the Earth have will have some problems in the future, yeah. for example, right. a meteorite or comet, I'm not sure. So maybe some something will happen with the Earth, and so maybe it's a good idea to find the, another planet and try to uh, build build something there to. Hmm. In, so we will be able to live there in the future. Mm. In that uh, in that uh, case, I think it's a good idea. But uh, I think uh, there are many things we have to do here on the Earth. We have many problems uh, of mankind. So <laughs> maybe uh, it's not a good idea to spend uh, the money for some future future far future product projects. Yeah. Can you guys see this on my screen here? This Yep. I just looked this up. I don't know if it's it looks true, I guess. <laughs> People are trying to do it. So they're already going to to try to put uh not people yet, but these things, I guess, on Mars to try to start uh figuring out how maybe someday people will actually be able to uh, start humans on Mars. Have you heard about that one-way uh, expedition to Mars? So no, no. they, they uh, try to collect the team. Uh -huh. uh, maybe not professional, just uh, regular, uh, ordinary people 
uh, who want to go there and there is no chance they can return back. Mm, mm -hmm. so they, can, they can get there and live uh, for some time there and uh, maybe some experiment do some experiments. Mm. I think the project I don't know what, what what in what stage it is right now so yeah yeah so pe people sending people there but they'll never be able to come back. Because we because it is very difficult. Uh, yeah, you know, sure, uh, we don't have such technology right now, so they could come <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send you there with no return. <laughs> yeah. One way wow. ticket. <laughs> One way ticket to Mars. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow, you would have to be a very curious person and not have yeah. very many ties to humans here. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Sorry about that. Just all of a sudden, my screen went up. Okay, Michael, what about you? Would you want to go t to Mars, or do you think we should be doing this kind of stuff? Well, about me, I don't have really an opinion about that, because um, from what I see, it's um, no one will go to the Mars next I don't know how many years. Like this is, um, I think this is kind of a company that they make money on on this idea, like Mars One. Sure. So yeah. There are lots of uh, nowadays. We have lots of businesses that try to make money in some way. There are some scams. There are some like uh, legal business, and this is kind of type of business. So basically, they they are making money on this idea. I don't know how much money, but for sure they're like founders or co-founders <laughs> and all the people involved. What I mean that uh, who 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 decide is uh, they owners. They making money on this idea. But yeah. like what I think that uh, if they want to go to Mars, they should firstly go to the moon. Mm. Basically, if it's ten times or uh, it's easier to go to the moon, why mm. would you not go to the moon to prove yourself that you can go uh, further? Like, but when I hear that I they want to go to the Mars, someone, it looks like for me like um, it's a kind of uh, um, just an idea to make money. Basically, mm. this company Mars One, it's not uh, uh, it's not founded by the U.S. government or by someone by some government, but it's a private company. Mm. Mm -hmm. Somehow they are making money on this. I don't know where they're taking. Uh, like maybe they have uh, investors or some. Yeah, I well, yeah, you have to have a lot of money because you know they're taking everything there. Like nothing exists on Mars right now, but, so. But no one will go to the Mars. They are making money for their houses, like for. Uh, uh, you know, for uh, look, there is uh, Mars One announces request for proposal for so in 2018. Yeah. Uh, so basically, you can write my words down. Right. Uh, Lisa, look in 2018 <laughs> on this side. Did they yeah. land to the Mars? Or did they go somewhere or no? And in 2018, right. you'll tell me. Like, right. <laughs> in exactly. Google. <laughs> it's like a, somebody's dream, I guess, but yeah. I don't know, scientists, these are the people who want to, you know, go where no man has gone before, that kind of idea. And also, you should read their biographies, I think, for, firstly, I didn't sure. read, yeah. I haven't read them, I haven't read, but to understand the idea, who, who are those people, like, uh, do they have some experience uh, landing somewhere, at least uh, on the Earth, somewhere, land <laughs> some yeah. projects uh, like that? Or are they some kind of enthusiast, uh, people like me, that uh -huh. don't have any experience in this area, but they want to make some good money on that? So. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, like are they going to go too, or are they just going to send people there and, yeah. Right. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, do you see a first one, Bas yeah. Lanstrom? Yeah, he's an entrepreneur. Yeah. Entrepreneur. Do you see? Is he a cosmo? Uh, what do you call those people? An astronaut. Are, 
is he an astronaut? No, he's just an entrepreneur. He's making gotcha. money. Yeah, sure. Okay. What do you think, Yuki? Should should humans be uh, doing this, or is it kind of a waste of money? I think it would be a big problem if there if if there exist Martians there. Yeah, Martians. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would be a big. Uh, I think a big. Uh, it, I we have to. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> yes, yes, more. But but uh, but firstly, uh, we have to uh, we have to uh, respect the right of uh, Martians to live here. There, I uh, recently I I I watched the documentary film of BBC about the history of Native Americans. Yeah. Um, uh, unfortunately, they are expelled by Americans, so it's a big. I think it's a big problem. So, <laughs> so <laughs> if there are Martians there, it uh, of course we have. We don't. Uh, we, we, we we don't have to uh, violate the rights of yeah. for, for them. Mm. Uh, even there are, there are no Martians there. I think uh, I'm I'm quite suspicious about about colonizing Mars uh, from the view of economy. Yeah. I think it, right. it, cost, it costs it too high, and yeah. I I'm suspicious about economical um, benefits mm. from. Uh, um, yeah. Um, to doing it, yeah. Doing it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, like why, what's the reason? I mean, it, it yeah. sounds like also like some people, you know, some people just want to expand their vision. And so some people, they just think about all kinds of stuff and like why not? But they're not necessarily concerned with humans now. They're more concerned about uh, kind of the future but also um, kind of securing their place in history like we will be remembered as the people who went to Mars first mm -hmm. you know this kind of thing even in us in our us there are many unexplored places on yeah? earth yeah like sure. uh, like, uh, like uh, like uh, uh, North Pole <laughs> Antarctica <laughs> yeah. yeah and yeah. and uh, in the ocean, mm. depths mm -hmm. of ocean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So we we have to. Uh, there are many things we have to do firstly before uh, before explore, exploring <laughs> other pl explore. Uh, planets and things. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. What do you think, Ken? Yes, I think it's uh, up to. What kind of technology we have, or we will have? Mm. Current technology, uh, you know, cannot can cannot allow us to colonize uh, Mars because it's too far, mm -hmm. and it's almost like one-way ticket. Human cannot tolerate such life, and mm. and we don't have so much gain from Mars, you know, it, because there's no transportation. <laughs> right. So maybe I think us. Uh, Maybe uh, I'm not sure the the future, but uh, you know, human like adventurous thing sometimes. You know, yeah. human frontier to dream about. Yeah. And some company use that kind of dream uh, for yeah. gain their profit to promote sure. their company, what yes. their technology or something. So it's not it's not a practical level uh, still. Human has not technology <laughs> <laughs> to go to colonize now. No. Yeah, yeah, and Michael's bringing up the debate about uh, if we even landed on the moon. Anyway, <laughs> that's <laughs> people are questioning whether or not people you landed, you landed in Hollywood. That's uh, what people think. Yeah. Let's agree on that. Yeah. Some people is buying the, the land of the moon. American company, yeah, is is selling really? the right to yeah the land They're of buying. The yeah, some people buy. Buying real estate. Yeah, I like real estate. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Kind of. 
the the moon. Yeah, I don't know. I I I like Earth. Earth is good. I'll just stay on Earth. <laughs> I don't have a need to go flying through space on landing. I'd like to go out in space, but maybe I don't need to land on the moon. I don't know. There's the moon. Okay, we have time real quick because this is a, a question that won't. Well, you just have to answer with uh, a number. So, Andre, about how many hours do you work per week? Do you think? Um, eight hours, uh, five days. So about forty hours. Yep. Yeah, All right, good. That's a nice uh, full-time work. Michael, what about you? As uh, well as anything, forty hours. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yuki, what about you? It depends, but I think I'm same, maybe. About the same? Okay, mm. good. You guys, that's good. Uh, is that the average in Russia? Is a full-time 40 hours per week? Yeah, it's, uh, I guess it's uh, an average. Uh-huh. And what is the average that you have for time off? Like vacation time? Uh, one month. Nice. That's good. Yeah. One month paid vacation, yeah. Vacation. Mm -hmm. Here in the United States, it's more like two weeks usually. Depends on your job and how long you've been there and that type of thing. But uh, it's not usually a month. That's pretty nice. Yuki, you have a very flexible schedule, though. Do you yes, take, I do you take very vacations? Flexible. Yes, flexible schedule. Maybe every day is vacation, <laughs> and every <laughs> day is working about <laughs> 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 Uh, because yeah. I'm I'm my boss now. So I know, yeah. I can decide for you know for myself. Uh huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Michael, uh, what do you do? What do you mean? What do you for mean? work. What's your job? Well, I'm working in an awesome company. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I am doing? I'm doing some some work. <laughs> on the computer. I cannot tell you because uh, I signed the um, like NDA uh, document. Oh, okay. Have you heard yeah. NDA? Yeah. Uh huh. No disclosure agreement. So basically, Not I cannot. Disclosure agreement. Okay. Anything. But I can tell you that's uh, really awesome, and the company is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. <laughs> <That's laughs> guys. He's working in an awesome company, doing awesome work. <laughs> yeah. That's. Awesome. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for coming to class. Our time is up, and so I'll let you go, and I'll talk to you guys again later. What was that awesome class? Awesome. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Bye, guys. Thank you for the bye fun bye. time. Bye. Take care. Bye. See you. I'm going to have some dinner now, Yuki. <laughs> yes.